Hi everybody, happy 2019, happy new year. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful new year. Um, so just happy to be here. I'm starting up the Live at Five on how to thrive. And so I'm gonna continue this for 2019. Every Monday evening at 5 p.m. I will be doing this. And so I'm excited to be back with you this Monday evening and Happy New Year's to all of you. It's our first, first, first week of the year has already gone by. We're, we're going into the second one. Hi, Paula. Um, so I'm just excited to be back and excited to start up the Live at Five and How to Thrive. So, man, what, um, what a day. So today I was pretty busy. It's getting back into everything, training my clients doing all that good stuff. Hi everybody, I'm so glad that you're on. Welcome, happy new year. Back to doing Live at Five on How to Thrive on every Monday night. So I'm excited to be with all of you. Hi, yay. So um, I was at the gym today. Here's a quick little story. Around like 1.30 p.m. and like it was packed. I was like, oh my gosh, I forget. It's the new year. More and more people, it's their resolutions, right? Hi James, yes, from Belize. It's so awesome, thank you. Um, so I'm at the gym, it's New Year's, New Year's resolutions, everybody's coming into the gym, it's packed at like 1.30 p.m. and I'm like, don't these people work? <laughs> Anyways, it was funny. And I was like, no, this is great. This, you know, of course this always happens. And for me being in the fitness industry for over 25 years, I've seen it all every year. But it just got me thinking again about resolutions. And then I'm watching people that don't have the best form or don't know kind of what they're doing. And I'm so happy that they're there to try to get back into shape, get healthier for themselves, whatever they're doing for 2019. My tip for anyone starting brand new, getting back into fitness is invest the money and invest the time to actually hire a personal trainer or a fitness professional just to show you uh, the correct form, get you set up with foundations, all of that. So. That is my biggest tip for you if you really are going hard at the gym and you're getting new into it and you're starting fresh. Um, just invest, invest the time and invest the money. It will be worth it in the long haul. But regardless of that little tip, what I was thinking about was resolutions, right? So every year we're like, okay, let me do my resolutions. Here's what I wanna you know, do for 2019 or the new year. I'm not big on resolutions. I'm bigger on intentions, setting intentions for myself and being more uh, intentional about my decisions and living and more intentional living than resolutions. And I will tell you why. They're kind of the same. But I believe we set ourselves up for these resolutions. We are like, okay, I didn't do this last year. I'm going to make this huge goal for this coming year. I'm going to work out six to seven days a week. That's my new resolution. And then what happens is when we don't meet it, then we get super disappointed and then we just kind of like back off completely. Because if we don't do it to the full capacity, we feel we failed and we're disappointed and then we completely pull back. And so that's why I don't like people to set themselves up more so for resolutions because it's something that really needs to be practical. It's something that needs to be, you're able to do in your life. You know if you're a parent or you're, you're a career person that you only have so much time during the day, maybe for your health or your fitness, but you know that's a priority, then really make it feasible for yourself. That way you don't set yourself up to be disappointed because you didn't actually make the goal that you set yourself up to, to meet. So I think resolutions are absolutely awesome. Intentions are fantastic. I set intentions for quite a few different things. But what I really wanna talk about is resilience because do you have the resilience to, if something goes wrong, even when you set the intention and it doesn't go right, what is resilience? And resilience is how quickly can you bounce back, right? Like elasticity, so think of that, an elastic, pulling an elastic waistband, or you know, how resilient is it? If I pull it super far, is it gonna go right back to its form? And so I want you to think about that with resilience in your life. How resilient are you if, something goes completely off the path of what you thought it should be, or you didn't meet that goal, you didn't meet that resolution, you didn't meet that intention, how resilient are you? 
does it take you completely out of the game or are you able to be like, okay, let me bounce back. So think of that waistband, right? Pulling it and bouncing back. What is your elasticity when things don't go right in your life? Do you just stay? Do you just <laughs> rip apart and you don't, you're not able to come back to center and be like, okay, there's a lesson in this. This was for a reason. I wasn't actually ready for this. I needed to do this first, or I needed to learn this first, or I needed to make this connection, or I needed to do this or do that. And so this year, I really wanted to impart with you and to um, offer up the word resilience. Look at your life and be like, okay, how resilient do I wanna be this year? Or how resilient am I currently? And maybe that's something that I can be intentional about is working on my resiliency. How quickly can I bounce back even if something doesn't go my way. And so that is one of the hugest things that I think I've learned for 2018. And I talked about this, we had an amazing candlelight restorative yoga and meditation time last night. I was so blessed, great number of people showed up and I led them through intention setting. We, we set our intentions, then we did restorative poses. I led them through some meditations. And as we were doing this, it, I was talking about 2018, and I know I've posted about it and many people have posted about it, is how was your years? Some people are like, done, I wanna move on, but it's really like, no, we can't just cut something and move on. We're continually learning, we're continually growing. Even though one year is closed, doesn't mean that's all gone, right? And so what we were talking about last night is learning. Hi, everybody, hi, Ken, hi, Tom. Glad you guys are on, thank you for joining. Talking about resiliency, how to be resilient in your life, what is resilience? Hi, Kathy. And this is more so what I would impart with you for 2019, instead of res resolutions, is how resilient can you be in your life? When something doesn't go right, how quickly can you come back to center and be like, that's okay. Here's another path. What did I need to learn? What's the opportunity for growth? Uh, who else do I need to connect with? This wasn't the timing, I wasn't ready. So how resilient are you when something just doesn't go right? And so for 2019, look at that. And so as I was talking last night at the restorative yoga, we talked about 2018 and how for me it was very up and down. I had some amazing peaks in 2018. I also had some pretty deep lows, but those had to happen. They had to happen to cause certain growth in my life. I needed certain things to happen to get, be removed from my life. And at times, obviously it's not easy, it's painful. But my gosh, I'm looking at it now, looking back, and I'm so grateful that happened. It hurt while I was there, but the, the road now is like, I'm just so clear. I have so much more clarity, and I'm in so much more alignment with my life of what I want going forward going in my future for my career, for Butoga, for yoga, for meditation, for my personal life, for my relationships, for whatever's coming my way. I'm very clear. I am very clear on what I want and what are my non-negotiables. And a lot of times we go so back and forth. We don't, we set boundaries, but we allow people to cross them and then we, we have a hard time coming back. And so, Resilience, that word is so powerful. Thank you, Jessica, love you. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And this is why I wanted to talk about it because we really are going through so many changes and it's like, okay, are you clear? Are you truly clear on your intentions for the year? Do you have your boundaries in place? Do you know what your non-negotiables are in your life for your career, for your relationships, for your family, for your friends? Like, do you know that? And if you don't, I would challenge you to start to really get clear and be intentional about what it is you want in every part of your life. And then just also be aware, start really paying attention of how quickly, if something doesn't go your way, does it take you completely out of the game? Or are you able to bring yourself back? So how resilient are you? And so that has been huge for me for 2018 and I'm bringing that into 2019 and I'm just super excited to have this new uh, way of thinking right now, this new way of, of being. And even as you set your intentions, 
I think I had shared last week, one of my intentions that I set for this year for myself was to be open. So being open to all possibilities, being open to all opportunities that come my way, being open to a new way of thinking, being open to new perspectives. Maybe not always my perspective, but being open to see someone else's perspective. Uh, being open to a new way of hearing, talking, new adventures, new people in my life. Completely being open is one of my intentions. And of course, there has to be boundaries on that. And of course, it's not always going to be yes, yes, yes. There's going to be a lot of no's. But I, I also have to go in with it knowing clearly what my non-negotiables are. And continually doing that. And so even with those intentions that I'm setting, I'm also remaining open knowing that it can change. So January, we're pumped up, we're ready to go, we're, we're like, let's get this started. But then in February, your, your intention may change form. It may look completely different than what you thought it was looking like in January. And so do you deem it wrong? Or do you go with the flow and how resilient are you even if your intention changes? And that's the same thing for resolutions. If your resolution changes, it could completely change. Like be open to everything. And I think as humans, we get so attached, so attached to what we think it should be, so attached to the resolution and the outcome, so attached to our intentions and the outcome, instead of allowing it to flow and know to be open that it's going to change form because we're constantly changing. We're constantly transforming. We're constantly integrating with people's energies, new people in our life, new paths in our career. We're constantly changing form. And so be open with allowing your resolution, if you've made resolutions, your intentions, be open for them to change. They may look different in April than they're gonna look for you this month. And so how quickly can you be okay with it and not hold on to it? And so how resilient are you even when that changes? And so for those of you logging on, I'm so excited to have you all here tonight. Um, I'm talking about resilience and I love the example of a waistband where you're pulling the waistband and you're like, how, how much can I pull this? And does it go right back into its form or does it lose all elasticity? And does it just fall apart? So how resilient are you? How, you know, is your elasticity like you just break as soon as something doesn't go your way? Or can you come back quickly and be, okay, this didn't work, that's okay. Let me try it this way, or maybe it wasn't time for this, maybe I need this. And so that is more so of what I wanted to share with my clients, sharing that last night as I led yoga and meditation, is just to be open and just be with things. Let go of control. Not always having it, uh, it's more like letting go of non-attachment. Don't be attached to the outcome of things. Don't be attached to people, to circumstances, because guess what? Our minds sometimes, we have these, oh, this is gonna be great, but it's gonna be even better than we think when we let go of what we think it should look like. It turns out to be more phenomenal than what our minds can even comprehend. And so I wanted to share that with you. This is our tip number one for 2019 on how to thrive. Not just survive, but how to thrive. And resiliency is going to be a huge piece for 2019. So how quickly can you get right back to center and just go for it, even when things do not go your way this year? So just pay attention to that. Really be conscious of how you react and how you do all that. So resilience, even look up the meaning. I even had it written down, but it's how quickly can you come back? How quickly can you recover from something that went wrong for, or a detour? How quickly can you go back to your center? And so really be with that. So I was gonna share one more thing, but I think I'll wait maybe until next week. But that is one of the tips for sure. This is the very first one for for this week and to me it's probably one of the most important is how resilient can you be how quickly can you come back to your center and how quickly can you not make it wrong if something didn't work out the way you thought it should so let go of attachment let go of control and allow your life to flow allow your resolution your intention whatever is it that you set to change form being open and free with it knowing that it's going to be greater than you even thought it would be things happen for a reason they really do and so 
with that, I am going to, there's so many great things coming up this month. Last night, we just had our very first restorative yoga and meditation for 2019. It was amazing, amazing energy. We're going to have it every first Sunday of the month, and I will be holding it and leading it, and it will be at Prima Yoga Evolution on Sundays, and I'll continue to, to put that out there. Um, also, I'm starting a online, so anywhere, James over there in Belize, you can even join it, and it's for men as well, not just women, a 21-day online yoga and meditation challenge. So we're going to, it's going to be a private, actually a secret Facebook page, so only those that are in the group are able to see anything. We're going to be doing 21 days of 21 minutes of yoga and meditation to start creating that habit. So it's going to be 16 minutes of yoga, 5 minutes of meditation for 21 days. And every day I will upload the video for you to follow along, do it when you're able to do it. And you also have to log in and be accountable on our Facebook page to make sure that you did it every day for 21 days. So we're creating new habits, we're creating new intentions and I believe too when we do this for 21 days you're going to see a lot of clarity come up. You're going to be clearer on maybe some things that you're not sure about right now. So I, and here's the best part, it's only $21, a dollar a day to start to really get everything going for you in January. So I will put the link down below for you, email me and I'll give you all the information for it. But it's a 21 day challenge and it starts this Friday, January 11th. So you need to sign up before then. It's already a very good showing. A lot of people are already signing up. Take advantage of this. I just want to impart my knowledge and give you what I have. And I just want to share with you because I want your year to be as beautiful as I want my year to be. You know, we want to be about love this year and compassion and kindness and letting go of the past and releasing things. And I believe as we do this as a community, it creates a much better world for all of us. And so that's coming up. That starts on Friday. And then January 18th, which is a Friday evening, I am also going to be doing a vision board workshop. And we're going to hold this in a beautiful home in Porter Ranch. And so I also have that event, I believe, on Facebook as well. So come and create. Put things actually down. Write them down. What do you want? What do you want to create? What do you want for your life? And actually put it and create it. Whether it's pictures, words, phrases, whatever it is so that you can have this vision board and have it somewhere in your home or office that you can see every day and that you can focus on and know, okay, this is something I want to create. And you're going to start to see things on this board manifest and come into fruition to your physical life. So it's an awesome vision board workshop, January 18th. So thank you all so much for logging on tonight. And I really hope that this spoke to you. I'm really happy that these are reaching you and you are you know, it's resonating with all of you. So once again, for resolutions or intentions, how resilient are you if they change or don't go the way you first set them up in the beginning of the year? Be open with it. Love them. Flow. Love yourself. Be gentle with yourself this year. Give yourself a lot of self-care, a lot of self-love. It really is a year of a lot of self-love because when we can love ourselves, then we're able to project that back to others. We're able to project that, project that back easily to people that we work with or become in contact with, our families. And so by working on ourselves and getting ourselves stronger and loving ourselves from the inside out, it's going to affect and be a ripple effect into our entire community. So thank you so much everyone for watching and logging on. Please, if you have any questions, direct message me. You're always able to also email me, extremefitchick at gmail.com. And I hope and pray for a wonderful 2019 for you. Have a good night. Bye-bye.